It's more than a year after the largest oil spill in U.S. history. The Gulf of Mexico is still seeing fish that are sick, and researchers are trying to figure out exactly why. CBS News correspondent Debbie Turner-Bell went there to talk to scientists and the fishermen. Lucky Russell is convinced his days as a commercial fisherman are numbered. I don't think we'll be fishing in five years, my opinion. He, like many others that fish the Gulf waters, have started catching fish with sores, fin rots, and infection at a greater frequency than ever before. Every one of them's worried. Everybody's worried. Here's a good example of what these fish look like when they first come out of the water. Dr. Jim Cowan, professor of oceanography at Louisiana State University, has analyzed many of these diseased fish. When one of these things comes on deck, it's, it's sort of horrifying. I mean, they're you know, these large dark lesions and, and uh, uh, eroded fins and, and areas on the body where the, the scales have been removed. And I imagine I've seen 30 or 40,000 red snapper in my career, and I've never seen anything like this uh, at all, ever. Cowan can't say with certainty the cause of these lesions. We think from um, chronic exposure to some environmental stressor, um, and I think the, the likely assumption that it has something to do with the spill is there. But the 200 million gallons of crude spilled from the Deepwater Horizon last year is at the top of the list because the highest rate of sick fish are being found in the areas of the Gulf that were the most affected by the oil. This whole issue seems to be centered between Galveston and, and Panama City or Destin. In fact, almost 50 percent of the red snapper that we caught on some of these reefs had had uh, these secondary infections. These so-called hot spots are of particular interest to University of South Florida researcher Dr. Steve Morosky. So we're conducting a study to see if there are elevated rates of fish diseases. We caught up to him on the choppy waters 11 miles off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. Because of the high waves, we couldn't board his boat. What we're going to do is establish a baseline for fish disease. So, you know, even if we don't find any uh, substantial pathology now, we can go back uh, two, three, four years from now and see if, in fact, there was some, uh, some slow time bomb that you know, was going on. This is the first comprehensive study ever done on the health of fish in the Gulf. During the six-week study, Morosky will catch and examine more than 4,000 fish. This is going to be very important for this bill. It's also going to be important for the next oil spill you know, that will happen in the Gulf because we'll have this big one. It's the bottom line that worries Frank Patty, owner of Joe Patty's fish market in Pensacola. So he prominently displays where his fish were caught. Now we still have customers want to know where the product comes from. The majority are not from the Gulf of Mexico. We're in no way um, trying to infer that this is a human health issue. Um, I, I can assure uh, you that the that none of these fish are reaching the markets. While consumers need not panic, Lucky Russell worries whether there will be enough healthy fish for him to make a living. If our fish are polluted, nobody's ever going to get to go out there and catch fish. You worried that might happen? It very well could. Debbie Turner-Bell, CBS News, Pensacola, Florida.